Germany's decision to integrate the MBDA Defender small anti-drone missile into Raymetal's Skyranger 30 turret marks one of the most significant developments in Europe's approach to countering the growing drone threat. What began as a modular gun platform is now evolving into a highly capable layered air defense system, one that blends rapid-fire precision with standoff missile lethality. This change is not just technical, it represents a strategic shift in how modern armies like the Bundeswehr are adapting to the realities of drone-centric warfare emerging from battlefields such as Ukraine. On November 5, 2025, Germany's Federal Ministry of Defense announced that lawmakers had approved the development, production, and acquisition of the new missile, referred to domestically as the Small Anti-Drone Missile, SADM, and marketed by MBDA as Defendair. The decision followed months of analysis and operational testing that highlighted the vulnerability of short-range units to small and micro unmanned systems. These drones, often cheap, expendable, and easily modified, have proven capable of delivering reconnaissance data, dropping improvised explosives, and even striking vehicles or artillery positions. The approval, therefore, goes beyond procurement, it is a direct response to lessons learned on real, active battlefields. At its core, the Defend Air is a small, lightweight missile developed from MBDA's Enforcer family, a 90mm system already known for its compactness and precision. The anti-drone variant adds a booster for longer range and an adapted seeker designed specifically for small, low-signature aerial targets. The missile weighs just over 7 kilograms and measures under 1 meter, making it ideal for integration into lightweight turrets like the Skyranger 30. With an estimated reach of 5 to 6 kilometers, Defender dramatically extends the system's defensive perimeter, enabling German forces to engage threats well before they come within cannon range. The financial framework of the program underscores its strategic importance. According to reports from defense publication Hartpunkt, the project's total budget amounts to roughly 490 million euros, divided between continued development and an initial production run. Serial manufacturing is expected to begin around 2029, a timeline that aligns with Germany's broader rollout of Skyranger-equipped boxer armored vehicles. By synchronizing the missile's introduction with the turret's full deployment, Berlin ensures a coherent modernization path for its short-range air defense units. The Skyranger 30 itself is already a formidable system. Mounted on an 8x8 boxer chassis, it features Rainmetal's KCE 30x173mm revolver cannon, capable of firing programmable ahead airburst ammunition at rates of up to 1,200 rounds per minute. The gun can engage small drones and incoming munitions at distances of around 3 kilometers with remarkable precision. However, that range limitation left a vulnerability gap, as many commercial or military-grade drones could operate just outside the effective radius. By adding Defend Air missiles, the system gains the ability to engage those threats at much greater distances, effectively layering its defensive envelope and reducing reliance on gun ammunition during prolonged operations. The integration is made seamless by the Skyranger's design philosophy. Rainmetal engineered the turret from the outset with modularity in mind, allowing it to host various effectors and sensors. The launcher for the Defend Air missile fits directly into the turret architecture, enabling 9 to 12 ready-to-fire rounds without affecting mobility or maintenance complexity. This integration ensures that crews can switch between gun and missile engagements almost instantaneously, depending on target type, range, and engagement geometry. In practical terms, a Skyranger section can now intercept a swarm of quadcopters at multiple distances in a single mission cycle, preserving ammunition while maintaining high lethality. Crucial to the system's efficiency is its sensor suite, centered around Hensoldt Spexer radar, which provides 360-degree coverage and automated target tracking. This radar, already in service with various NATO air defense units, can detect, classify, and track micro-UA versus at extended ranges. When linked with the Skyranger's fire control system, the radar allows for automatic target handover between the gun and missile, drastically reducing the time from detection to engagement. 
This ability to shift seamlessly between effectors is not merely technical elegance, it is survival critical. In drone warfare, where engagement windows are measured in seconds, latency in response often determines whether a unit lives or becomes a target. Germany's decision also positions it firmly within NATO's evolving counter-UAS ecosystem. The Sky Ranger 30 is a central component of the European Sky Shield Initiative, a multinational effort aimed at building a cohesive air and missile defense network across the continent. Allied nations are already adopting similar systems, Austria has ordered 36 Sky Ranger 30 turrets for its Pander EVO vehicles, Denmark is integrating 16 units onto Piranha V platforms, and Hungary is funding a variant designed for its Lynx infantry fighting vehicles. The addition of the Defend Air missile enhances not only Germany's capability but also the interoperability of these fleets, providing a standardized missile layer that could be shared or jointly maintained among NATO partners. The Bundeswehr has been explicit about the operational value of this combination. In its official statement, the Ministry of Defense emphasized that the missile would complement the Sky Ranger 30's onboard cannon, and that the system would therefore be fully capable of defending against small and micro drones. That clarity underscores Germany's shift from reactive defense to proactive engagement. Instead of expending thousands of costly ahead rounds on small targets that can hover for hours, operators can now eliminate threats earlier, conserving ammunition for critical moments and reducing overall system wear. From a doctrinal perspective, this integration signals the Bundeswehr's acknowledgement that the drone threat is not an emerging risk, it is a present, persistent one. In conflicts from Nagorno-Karabakh to Ukraine, Low-cost drones have demonstrated a disruptive impact disproportionate to their price. They surveil, guide artillery, and strike directly, overwhelming traditional defenses. Systems like Sky Ranger 30 with Defend Air missiles represent a practical answer to this paradigm shift, merging mobility, automation, and precision into a scalable solution that can be fielded at brigade level. Technologically, the Defend Air's simplicity is also its strength. Its passive guidance allows operation without active emissions, making it less susceptible to jamming and countermeasures. The missile's modular warhead is optimized for small aerial targets, reducing collateral damage while ensuring high kill probability. When paired with the Sky Ranger's radar and electro-optical sensors, it creates a closed-loop defensive network capable of autonomous action if needed. This kind of independence is vital in electronic warfare environments where communication links can be disrupted. The long-term implications for NATO are equally significant. The addition of Defend Air to the Sky Ranger 30 gives European forces a cost-effective, domestically produced alternative to larger missile systems like Stinger or Mistral for the lowest tier of air defense. It fills the gap between electronic jamming systems and heavy interceptors, creating a continuum of defense options that can be tailored to mission scale. This modularity also opens export potential. Any nation operating Sky Ranger variants could adopt the missile with minimal adaptation, providing a unified counter drone standard across multiple armies. If production follows the planned schedule, the Bundeswehr will field the first operational Skyranger Defend Air units before the end of this decade. When deployed, these systems will patrol alongside mechanized units, protecting them from aerial surveillance and attack in real time. More than a mere equipment upgrade, this integration represents Germany's recognition that the future battlefield is one dominated by small, intelligent, and expendable aerial threats. The answer, as the Sky Ranger 30 now demonstrates, is not bigger guns or heavier armor, but smarter, faster, and layered defenses built precisely for the threats of today. With the November approval, Germany has effectively turned the Sky Ranger 30 from a gun based air defense turret into a full spectrum anti drone weapon platform. It is a clear acknowledgement that the era of drone warfare demands flexibility, automation, and precision rather than brute force. By choosing to invest in systems like Defend Air, Berlin is ensuring that its forces will not merely react to aerial threats, they will stay one step ahead, intercepting danger long before it reaches the front line. This is not just an incremental upgrade, it is a glimpse into the next generation of battlefield air defense, 
where compact systems like Skyranger define the balance between vulnerability and survivability in the skies above Europe.